Maasim, Acts 13. Now there were of the called out assembly that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnava and Shimon on that, rather that was called Niger, and Lucius of Sarine, and Manean, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Paal. As they ministered to Yahua and fasted, the Ruach HaKadesh said, Separate me at Barnava and at Paal, for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed, and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they, being sent forth by the Ruach HaKadesh, departed unto Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were at Salamis, they preached the word of Yahuwah in the synagogues of the Yahudim, and they had also Yahuchanan to their minister. And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Yahudi, whose name was Bar Yahusha, which was the, with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Eth Bar Nava and Eth Baal, and desired to hear the word of Yahuwah. But Elimas, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the belief. Then Shaul, as one Paul, filled with the Ruach HaKadesh, set his eyes on him and said, O oh, full of all subtlety and all mischief, you child of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, Will you not cease to pervert the right ways of Yahuwah? And now, behold, the hand of Yahuwah is upon you, and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist, a, rather a mist and, and a darkness, and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the doctrine of Yahuwah. Now when Paal and his company loosed from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia, and Yahuchanan, departing from them, returned to Yerushalayim. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia, and went into the synagogue of the Shabbat, and sat down. And after the reading of the Torah and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up, and beckoning with his hand, said, Men of Yashadael, and ye that fear Yah, give audience. Yahuwah of this people, Yashadael, chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Mitzrayim, and with a high arm brought them, rather brought he them out of it. And about the time of forty years suffered he their manners in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he divided their land to them by lot. And after that he gave unto them judges about the space of four hundred and fifty years until Shemuel the prophet. And after they desired a king, and Yah gave unto them at Paal the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Binyamin, by the space of forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found, rather found David, the son of Yishai, a man after my own heart, 
which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed has Yahuwah, according to his promise, raised unto Yashadael a savior, Yahusha. When Yahuchanan, rather Yahuchanan, had first preached before his coming the immersion of repentance to all the people of Yashadael, and as Yahuchanan fulfilled his course, he said, Whom think ye that I am? I am not he. But, behold, there comes one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Avraham, and whosoever among you fears Yahuwah, to you is the word of this Yahshua sent. For they that dwell at Yerushalayim and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Shabbat, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulchre. But Yahuwah raised him from the dead, and he was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galil to Yerushalayim, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you good news, how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, Yahuwah has fulfilled the same unto us, their children, in that he has raised up Yahusha again, as it is also written in the second Mizmor, You are my son, this day have I begotten you. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, now no more to return to corruption, he said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore, he says also in another Mizmor, you shall not suffer your Holy One to see corruption. For David, after he had served his own nation by the will of Yah, fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. But he whom Yahuwah raised again saw no corruption. But, rather, be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. And everywhere we have no potential mandate in the Torah of Moshe for Moshe's righteousness, but whosoever believes is made righteous. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish. For I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. And when the Yahudim were gone out of the synagogue, the other nations besought that these words might be preached to them the next Shabbat. Now, when the synagogue was broken up, many of the Yahudim and devout proselytes followed Paul and Barnava, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of Yahuwah. And the next Shabbat came almost the whole city together to hear the word of Yahuwah. But when the Yahudim saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spoke against those things which were spoken by Paal, contradicting and blaspheming. Then Paal and Barnava waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of Yahuwah should first have been spoken to you. But seeing ye put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the other nations. For so has Yah commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light of the other nations, that you should be for Yahshua unto the ends of the earth. And when the other nations heard this, 
they were glad and glorified the word of Yahuwah. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. And the word of Yahuwah was published throughout all the region. But the Yahudim stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnava and expelled them out of their coasts. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came unto Iconium. And the Talmudim were filled with joy and with the Ruach HaKadosh.